Oh, welcome back to the workshop. Uh, today we got us a little uh, Briggs and Stratton 8 horsepower generator we're working on, or been working on, and thought this was not going to be a video, but uh, didn't think it was much more than just a quick little repair on the uh, carburetor. And uh, oh, but nah, I've been out of town and all that kind of stuff this last couple weeks, been pretty crazy. But anyway, so it's been sitting here for a little while. I've got the old carburetor removed. It's it's off of here. It's uh, just a regular Briggs and Stratton engine. And the problem, let me show you all the issues I've had with this thing that I've been working with. So the old carburetor, uh, I don't know if you can see the number on that or not, but they're all about the same on these these things. Uh, uh, Walboro, uh, what is the number on this thing? 46-4983 or 7. Anyway, so we looked up the part for this thing. This was leaking. The valve was leaking around this little plastic fit. And so they wanted that replaced. So I figured that just come on out. And I hadn't really fooled with it to try to replace one of these. But so what happens is uh, to get this thing off of here, I went to pull it out. And that is just pressed into the side of the carburetor. There's no screws. I was thinking it was probably screwed in. But this part here just came, came right off. It was no good. So I said, okay, so to get this thing out of there, that was quite the job. You have to actually uh, build a little pulley puller for it. And what I ended up doing, and there was, I went to YouTube University myself to figure out. What I basically ended up doing is I tapped this thing out to a size of a bolt, and then I put another washer around, or a sleeve around that, and run the bolt down in there, and then tighten the nut up and used it as a puller. And there's a couple videos out there to show you how to do that. And I was playing with it, so I didn't know what would work. So I didn't video that. So anyways, that wasn't real bad. A uh, little bit of a pain, but if you have a good tap and, uh, and, and a good bolt, it'll pull it right out. So I went to look up the carburetor and it gave me a part number for this. And pretty much everybody was the same thing. And I ordered up a brand new one. I said, great, we're ready to go. So I come around here, going to press this in. You need to press this in, just like it was pressed out. And this thing just falls in there. I mean, it's it's loose as, as it can be. And that's what everything that I could find said that it would take. So this one, I don't know if we'll be able to read this or not, but uh, it's 29,000. You can kind of read what it is there for this one. And this one is 27. And I had read a couple other places where people had said that, that you need to actually go back with the OEM part because they make these a little bit smaller. Now, I don't know if that's because this is old enough that they've changed it that much. I don't really know the story on that. But when I tried to get the OEM part, nobody had that at all. Everybody come back to this same one. And everybody else's so anyways long story short if you have this problem uh make sure you find one that's actually gonna fit it this the ones i'm finding do not so so what i ended up doing uh instead of just doing that piece i went ahead and just ordered me a new carburetor uh off of, e off of amazon it's a direct replacement looks like uh it don't have the old world name on it but it looks pretty darn identical, and I picked this thing up for, I don't know, around 20 bucks. Uh, probably wasn't worth the aggravation to try to replace all this stuff for 20 bucks and just get a new one and, and let it roll. So we're going to go ahead and slide this on there, and uh, it should fire right up because it was running off of this one, just leaking a little bit of gas. So that's about all we can say on that. That's the video for it. Uh, like I say, as far as the install and all that, that's pretty much standard. I think I've covered that on many of my other videos, so I don't think I need to go into that. So we'll just kind of call this a good video right here, one shot and done. And uh, heck, we'll go on and put her on there and be done with this little project. It's been quite the little aggravation. So, But anyways, hope this will save you a little bit of aggravation if you go to have a problem like that with your little gas valve uh if somebody else has a solution that you know of that i missed somehow well let me know i'd be sure interested to know if i'm i can't believe i'm the only one that came across this problem so let me know thank you and appreciate you watching it checking it out hope it helped you and we'll check with you on the next video